What's up everybody? This is your girl EJ and I was scrolling on Obama's intranets like I always do. I said I was going to stop because everything I keep scrolling upon is making me look crazy and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to look crazy on these internet streets. But this one, this is good. So I came across Mrs. Gabby Sidibe. Sidibe? Sidibe? Gabby. Precious. So anyway, she made a post that said, I had to braid my own hair and I'm so disappointed that my Senegalese ancestors didn't rise up in my fingers and help me with these twists. Rude. I completely understand, Gabby. I feel like it's a lot of pressure uh, as a black girl to know how to do certain things. All black girls know how to do cornrows. Uh, all black girls know how to dance on beat. Uh, all black girls know how to cook. You know, all black girls have, you know, booties. We don't. I do. I gotta tell you, as magical as we are, as amazing as we are, as awesome as we are, we 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 just don't. We don't. A, a lot of us don't know how to do everything. Uh, my personal struggle: uh, hot water cornbread. <laughs> I can't. I can't make no hot water cornbread. I can't. <laughs> it has has come out in variations of maybe a uh, rock texture. Uh, my husband threw threw some of the cornbread out of the window. Uh, I've had hot water cornbread to come out tasting like uh, shrimp bubble gum. I've just had different variations of failure. Everybody can make this hot water cornbread except for me. And you know, that really made me feel bad because it's like, why is everybody else blessed to be able to make this bread that tastes so good and then I, mine, mine tastes like trash. But I was sitting up one night, not too long ago, and um, I FaceTimed my aunt. FaceTime would actually imply that I have an iPhone. Um, I don't. I actually use the app on Facebook to call her. It wasn't, it wasn't a real FaceTime call. So I called my Aunt Niecy and I said, hey, I feel like it's wrong for you not to show me how to make this high water cornbread. And so she walked me through the steps, you know, get this, get this. She, she stayed on the phone the whole time, you know, making sure that my texture was the texture that it should have been instead of a grainy rock consistency that I would usually go for. I fried the bread to perfection. Don't nobody say nothing to me right now because I know how to make our water cornbread. Like back up, six feet, social distancing. There is such an arrogant pride that comes from finally learning how to do something right that you didn't know how to do before. I am arrogance and pride in human form. I know how to make hot water cornbread. Don't don't talk to me. Don't. But I was looking at Gabby and I was like, you know, even though these Senegalese twists look Americanese or like another country -nese, you know, I understood her pain because I was just her uh, for years up until maybe a month ago. So, I mean, I feel you, Gabby, you know, you know, everybody's trying to adjust during quarantine. You got to do your own hair, do your own twists. You, you going to get it. <laughs> you gonna get it Gabby now I know me and Gabby are not the only ones out here with this struggle so I want to know what that one thing is that everybody thinks you should be able to do but you can't you you can't do it you done tried and you done tried and you done failed and you done you, you can't do it let me know what it is in the comment section and thank you guys so very much for tuning in this is your girl EJ and I will see you guys next time bye